Good evening, greetings from Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So it's the end of another week, and we thought we'd do a little shit, another little shop update. We were originally tonight's video was going to be about the Arctic uh, Camouflage 2020 year old gear up that just came in uh, that we got assembled and prepped out. Um, we're gonna have it outside and take photos and a video of it, but unfortunately, it started raining, so. Uh, we'll save that for another day. Did get some photos taken very quickly before the rain started, so we'll be getting this unit listed. Uh, it does have the Heidenau K37 tires, uh, black exhaust, black engine, uh, the three-tone paint, which is the bona fide camo scheme from years ago, and the Arctic camo. Uh, 2007 limited edition unit was the Arctic, um, and this is the uh, camouflage. And then it also has, of course, the K37 tires I mentioned. Uh, does have undercoating. The fenders are undercoated and the sidecar body is also undercoated. And neat thing is they go over top of the undercoating. Uh, years past, they had problems with the undercoating turning gray, so they started painting over the top, uh, which makes it nice. Um, kind of blends in so you don't see it. Um, Got all kinds of neat stuff going on in the shop this week. Uh, had a lot of bikes picked up, a lot of bikes delivered. Um, sales are still going strong. Still got motorcycles coming in uh, just about every week. Uh, just keep ordering. Uh, of course, you got an old Connie over here. Came in for a 30,000 mile service. Great old motorcycles. They just run and run and run. They might not be the most beautiful thing, but uh, they will get you all over the place for sure. Uh, of course, blue and silver still waiting to go out west. Electric bicycle, got uh, swamp buggies, got a couple swamp buggies to work on. Um, here's one came in on trade. Uh, this is a 2017, I kept calling this a 2015, I guess, in previous videos. Uh, but this is going to be a 2017 Euro Patrol is what this was. Um, this one's going to be available for sale. Uh, we got the seat off of it because we're going to clean the fender up. Um, seats there in the, uh, the sidecar uh, going to... Get the fender cleaned up, get her all shined up. Um, we remounted the fairing, um, got it nice looking there. Uh, here's a 2020 slate gray. Uh, this one was over in the showroom. This one is now sold. I guess Tuesday's going to leave here, so it's now sold. Uh, customer wanted a little GV windscreen on it and then the tall sidecar windscreen. Uh, and then we have another Ural that's going to come in on trade on this 2017 metallic bronze gear up. Uh, so this one is sold. This was a pre owned that we had. A uh, gentleman's going to be trading in a Taiga Green, I believe, uh, an older unit, so we'll have that available. And then I think a customer called up from Minnesota today and uh, placed a deposit on this unit, so we'll be getting some accessories added to this 2020 Ural CT in silver. Uh, so we'll get it tricked out next week, that way we can probably the following week get it, get it ready to go uh, to be transported out. And tomorrow being Saturday, got a couple customers picking up motorcycles that we worked on. Uh, 2017 Sahara there, and then the uh, 2013, 12 or 13, 11, 12, 13, somewhere in there, blue and white patrol. You can see the cardboard stack starting to grow. Uh, do still have the 2017 Metallic Terracotta gear up. Uh, this unit does have warranty through the end of this year. Uh, so if you're in the market for a pre-owned, there's a good good pre-owned. And while we're doing a little shop tour, since we can't do our Arctic video, we'll go ahead and swing on over here in the showroom, turn the lights back on uh, so you can see what we've got. Uh, there is the 2020 Ural CT, uh, of course with the brown fabric. You may have seen the video on that one. Uh, and then we went ahead and hung the, found one of these spare tire covers, open spare tire cover. Went ahead and stuck one of those on there, kind of looks different. I'm um, going to put black exhaust on this unit next week, uh, 2020 Euro gear up in the burnt orange. And then of course there's the other uh, silver unit CT. Next to it's the olive drab. You notice things have probably changed over here in the showroom since we did the last video. Uh, there's the olive drab CT setting next to an olive drab gear up, both of those in standard configuration. Uh, and then we do have the uh, burgundy satin burgundy gear up have the m70 anniversary color gloss uh, of course that has the that's the one with the high mount pipe on it uh, and then we have a satin terracotta gear up uh, this is another one uh, the other one left here uh, the one that was sitting over on the other side so we do have another one uh, just like it uh, black exhaust of course and then we have the remaining 2019 ural ct uh, this is in the blue and silver uh, very good machine 
and I may end up taking this one for myself. Uh, just don't know yet. Haven't really had time to worry about that too much. Uh, we've been we've been swamped uh, for the last uh, six weeks. Uh, been working, working, working. So I uh, got a lot of new Ural owners. Uh, a lot of uh, Ural owners buying pre-owns, as I mentioned before. Uh, of course, we're still doing a social distancing thing. Of course, uh, you see we've got uh, different setup there, um, signs on the door, and all that good stuff. So hopefully everything sorts out eventually, but uh, just wanted to do another uh, little shop update of what we got going on. Of course, uh, pre-owned bikes, uh, regular motorcycles have been good as well. Uh, getting down to a few remaining. Um, got a 2013 Harley, 2012 Honda GL 1800 Goldwing. Uh, and then we have the uh, California uh, Moto Guzzi little scooter there. Of course, got a bunch of stuff coming in next week to work on, and then I do have, like I say, another shipment of Euro motorcycles coming in. Of course, we did have a little bit of a little bit of a shop oopsie today, uh, working on doing a top end job on a uh, on an engine, and uh, unfortunately, uh, dropped one of the cylinders. Brand new cylinder went to pull it out of the box, and I dropped it. Uh, so that messed that all up. Yep, even the best make mistakes from time to time. But again, we'll be getting uh, that uh, 2017 patrol setting there. We'll be getting it cleaned up, um, and it'll be good to go. Of course, that's an old expired tag on a on a on a four wheeler APV tag, so no big deal on that. And then we got a Snarly Abelson over here. I guess we're going to put a front tire on it. Probably do this tomorrow. Front tire and service. Uh, big old custom rim there on the front. So. And I'll show you my show you my jug, show you my screw up here or my little mess up. Yep, see right there. Yep, she fell right out of the box and fell on the floor and went bang. Yep, so that's all messed up. So that's probably going to go into my scrap pile. Um, it's messed up. Unfortunately, stuff happens, but uh, that is a rather rather expensive screw up. Don't want to do that every day. Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. As always, thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a good weekend.